Hi there, this is Johnny Chambers from Microsoft's US education team and in this session I want to look at um, administrator control over the connected accounts interface. Um, connected accounts can be found if you log in as a regular user, so I'm logged in here as Jack Smith and uh, I click on options. You can see the uh, connected accounts interface in here and as it says uh, connected accounts essentially allows an end user to pull email uh, that may exist in other services like Hotmail or Gmail or Yahoo, pull that email into the Outlook Live service and uh, you know, basically create a consolidated inbox. Uh, that's fine for a lot of customers, but in many cases, especially in K-12, uh, because those email environments like Hotmail and Gmail and so on uh, are unmonitored, uh, administrators don't want students pulling email in from those services because they would normally block them at their firewall. So um, this could potentially provide a bypass for students and uh, so the challenge is how do you lock this interface down so that students can't use it. So let's have a look at that. So the sign out of Jack here. If I first of all take a look at, um, so here I'm logged on as an administrator to Outlook Live and uh, if I go to uh, user roles you'll see a couple of things of interest in here. You'll see this This is where you can control what users can do as part of the uh, the default mailbox plan. So, for example, be able to control um, what they can do with distribution groups and so on. But a couple of things you can see in here, um, you can see that uh, users can also control their mail subscriptions. Uh, mail subscriptions are essentially, essentially the, uh, the permission that allows users to manage their connected accounts. And uh, it's set up both in the default mailbox plan and also in the GAL disabled mailbox plan. So let's go to a PowerShell session where I'm ready connected up with um, Outlook Live and I'm going to run through a few commands here. Uh, the first one I'm going to run is um, this one. So this one says uh, get management rule assignment uh, my mail subscription star. Uh, this is essentially going to pull back the, uh, the management rule assignments which are um, similar to uh, my mail subscriptions it has that has that uh, string in the uh, the title. So you can see here there's four. Uh, there's two that have been assigned to folks that have got the organization management role assigned to them. Um, so that's essentially for administrators. It's assigned to that uh, that role group. And there's, there's a my mail subscriptions underscore default uh, mailbox plan and gal disabled mailbox plan. And then there's also uh, two um, assignments that have been done through a role assignment policy for the, the GAL disabled mailbox plan and the default mailbox plan. So these are the ones that uh, apply to regular end users and these are the ones that I want to um, have removed. So let's look at how we do that. Again I've got a command stacked up here. So this command again is go it's going to get the uh, the management rule assignments uh, that are similar to you know my mail subscriptions. Uh, I'm only interested uh, in assignments that have been made through rule assignment policies, and uh, that ties up with the uh, the uh, user assignment policies up here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove those um, assignments. So let's uh, run this. that's that done. And now if I go back to my user roles here, it should be a case of uh, now you see it, now you don't. So let's just uh, refresh this and we're looking for this My Mail Subscriptions. Okay, so it's gone from the, the GAL Disabled Mailbox Plan and also the default mailbox plan. So at this point, if I go back and uh, log in as a uh, Jack, um, I should see that the uh, the connected accounts interface is no longer there. So let's go and try and do that. So I'm going to sign in as Jack, and it takes me back just to where I left off before. And you can see that the uh, the connected accounts interface has um, gone. Now the last step of that of this demo, um, if uh, you wanted to go this far is to give the administrator the ability to decide uh, who gets the connected accounts interface 
and who does not. Um, in this case, what I'm going to do is again go back and capture a command here and paste it into PowerShell. Uh, what this command here is going to do is going to, it's going to create a rule group and it's going to be called a connected accounts default mailbox plan and essentially this rule group is going to be assigned the role uh, my mail subscriptions underscore default mailbox plan okay now again if I go back to my um, admin user interface here and look at administrator roles you'll see the current roles that I've got so there's currently seven roles and there they are uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, create a new one so let's just run this. So with that done, I'm going to go back to the admin UI and uh, switch to administrator roles and uh, quickly refresh this. And you'll see that I've now got eight um, uh, role groups uh, defined, including this new one here, uh, connected accounts, default mailbox plan. And uh, what I can do through here is I can double click this and basically add in members uh, and these will be folks that I'm happy to allow access uh, to the um, connected accounts interface for. Um, I could also of course uh, make these um, additions through uh, PowerShell if I wanted to. So anyway that's it. Um, thanks for watching. Hope that was useful.